Hello, reformers, and welcome to A Clash of Kings. Or should I say welcome back, because we have played this before. We've actually played version 1.2, I believe, and then everything spiraled out of control, and it got updated very, very many times, and, well, unfortunately, I just could not keep up. It was way too much to actually get all of that progress back every single time there was an update. Even if it was just a minor one, it would make it save game incompatible. And yeah, so that was a little bit worrying, of course. And so that series ended. But we have now returned. This is version 2.1. And you can find a download link in the description, of course, if you're not already playing this. So let us begin a new game. And I believe this is going to be the return of Elias Mormont as well. Now, it's been a while since we've seen Elias, of course. He actually had, I believe, control over, I think, maybe at least half, at least half of the map, maybe even more than that. Once we see the map again, then, of course, we will actually see what changes have been made as well. You go for a stroll in the streets of your hometown when you hear that King Robert has been gored to death by a large boar. The fishmonger that you're speaking with tells you that Eddard Stark, the Hand of the King, tried to usurp the throne, but the valiant King Joffrey's advisors managed to foil his plot, and peace has surely been restored. However, a few days later, a weary traveller arrives with more news, following the imprisonment of Lord Stark. The Northern Lords marched south to defeat the Lannisters and free their liege. And various other things happened, you can read this if you so desire, but I would like to get onto the character creation if possible. Now, we finally feel like we can control our own destiny, and that whatever course you take, great deeds await you. Okay, so now this is... Obviously, one of the best character creators, in my opinion, because you do get to see what kind of stats you're going to have. Now, of course, right now, this is uh, this is just not very good. We have five riding skill. That's actually pretty nice. But other than that, what are we getting? Well, not too much. So I'm thinking we're probably going to go for like a man-at-arms or something along those lines. Our father was a man-at-arms, at least. And maybe we will be something like a noble in training. I'm trying to get a good amount of leadership. If you can believe that, yeah. That doesn't seem to help, does it? Huh, what should we go for? Cell sword? What gives us a good amount of leadership? That is the problem here. What about a... Whoa, a blacksmith gives us a huge amount of power strike, but we have... Not a lot of money? We have 250 dinars. No? Well, we have 10 strength, very low charisma. That's not particularly good. What about personal revenge? No... Ah, the loss of a loved one actually gives us a huge amount of charisma boost, and it only loses us one power strike, but we only have one in leadership. I feel like the spotting skill is kind of a waste as well. So, let's try and get that away. There we go. No, 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 that's, that's, that's still not good. We're still getting spotting skill for some reason. It must be the man-at-arms, surely. Or do we just start with that anyway? Yeah, apparently we just start with plus three spotting for no reason. Not entirely sure why, but... I suppose that's fine. Hmm, maybe a traveling merchant, then a noble in training, or maybe a novice. No, that's going to give us surgery skills and things like that. Hmm, I think probably a noble in training is going to be fine. Yeah, we. that's the problem though. We don't have any power strike anymore. We do have some power strike now, but we have no iron flesh. So I'm thinking maybe we'll just go for everything to do with absolutely attacking everything in sight so yeah why not that seems like a pretty balanced start isn't it oh i have no idea but i think that will be fine i it's going to take me all day otherwise so it's probably a good idea that we just continue onward isn't it yes so elias mormont will be our name of course once again and let's see what else do we want to get here well we definitely want to get prisoner management maybe a little bit more than that now, what else? Well, pathfinding, of course. Let's go for every point in intelligence. Yep, I know. That's quite a drastic maneuver, but I feel like pathfinding is really quite worth it. We'll go for one point in riding skill just to make sure that we can actually ride a horse. 
and then what else? What else do we want to go for? I know bows in this mod are not particularly good, so probably not going to be doing any power draw or anything like that. Maybe go for a crossbow. I know the previous Elias did actually use a crossbow for some time. And what else are we going to go for here? That's the thing. I actually have no clue. Maybe some more leadership. And I guess what we could do is go for some athletics. Maybe a point in Weapon Master as well, just to make sure that we're actually gaining a good amount of weapon levels. And I guess that's it. Yeah, maybe. Seems okay, at least. Now I'm going to randomize a little bit, and we're going to see if we can get something cool. I did obviously boot up this mod beforehand, and I tried it out and tried out the character creation and everything, make sure everything was working correctly with my software, and everything seemed to be working absolutely fine, and I found a really cool face, and I'm hoping that I'll be able to actually recreate that, but it is highly unlikely. Hmm, maybe this, this might actually work. Maybe. No, I don't think it is going to, unfortunately. Uh, that was very close to what he used to be, though. So let's see. Uh, maybe this? No. Ah, here we go, here we go. This might actually be something that we can work with here, but we need to make his face a little different. Maybe. There we go. Okay, so maybe we can make his... Okay, his hair color is not changing at all. Okay. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, that, 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 that might actually be quite nice. There we go. I think that's pretty good. The beard's actually really nice too. Okay. Yeah, why not? Let's go with that. And let's make him a little bit older because, well, he is a little bit older, isn't he? I mean, it's been a, a long while since we've last played The Clash of Kings, after all. So, there we go. You join a merchant and his family traveling towards Storm's End. Green shoots of wheat, barley, and oats are all across the dark soil of the rolling hills and on the lower slopes of the snow-capped mountains. Herds of cattle, aurochs, and sheep are grazing on the summer grass. But we are going to have... A problem. According to an old blind man sitting in the corner between two buildings and drinking a mug of stale ale, a kraken has been seen off the coast of Dawn, and a five-headed calf has been born, killing its mother in the process, surely an omen to be taken seriously. Dismissing the old fool as crazy, you continue towards the tavern. All of a sudden you hear a sound that stands the hairs of your neck on end, the rasp of a blade sliding from its scabbard. Now, what are we going to get? Because the character I made before, I got a frying pan. Okay, I think that's a bug. I think that's a bit of a bug, because... Wait a minute. Y yeah. I might... I literally have no weapon? Are you... Okay. Okay, well, just kill me, I guess. I can't do anything. I have no weapon. <laughs> I literally have no weapon at all. I have 115 one-handed weapon proficiency, but no weapon. Now that is impressive, I have to say. And believe it or not, I did actually install the latest patch as well, so I had hoped that all of the bugs were fixed, but apparently, well, apparently maybe I selected the wrong options or something? I have no idea, but thankfully enough, we did not get our throat cut, and Osbert saved us. You seem a little disoriented. Yes, we are, of course. Okay, so yes, we are going to try and do, our, do the same, and we are going to make a name for ourselves. Yes, a new beginning. Thank you, my friend. Fair travels to you. There we go. Yes, thank you very much. So, here is, once again, the land of Westeros, and of course we do have uh, yes, oh my. A huge, huge map. And if you recall, I actually had all of these. I think I had up until here. I did not have the desert lands. Or did I? No, I don't think I had the desert lands under control. But I had basically everything up here. And I think King's Landing was also under our control, as well as Goldtown and Sisterton, and a couple of northern territories as well. But we had the entirety of Essos all under our control as well. I remember the Volantis Siege. Oh yes, I highly recommend actually going back and watching the Siege as well. well siege, otherwise known as the series of A Clash of Kings, because that was actually pretty cool. I really did enjoy that. And, well, we're going to be enjoying this as well. So let's actually take a... Yep, as you can see. 
we have a sledgehammer and we only have what, what what was it nine strength or something yeah see now this is the thing this is a little bit weird because we had nine strength to begin with right so if we put four attribute points in which is what i did to our intelligence we would still only have 13 strength and as a result we would not be able to use this sledgehammer so i have to say i'm a little bit perplexed as to why i was given a sledgehammer in the first place when I could technically have just been given something else. But, okay, that's not not too bad, I suppose, because we can just now go into the Weeping Town, and maybe we can buy something. It's, uh, it's not going to happen, is it? It's really not going to happen, because, I mean, look at this. They are super expensive. I mean, the only thing that isn't are these military forks, and they are just nowhere near good enough. So let's sell that it's going to give me 40 it's literally going to give me 40 okay i'm not going to be doing that then wow they really wanted us to have a very difficult start didn't they okay well let's see we do have brendan over here ah by any chance could you offer me a helping hand yes okay Okay, well, yes, I am by training a maester or master maester hmm, of the citadel, but condemned by the jealousy of the thick-headed arc maesters of my brotherhood to make my living as an itinerant barber. I was hired by a merchant of Ashford to cure his son, who fell into a coma after a fall from his balcony. Oh, yes, I know who this is, oh yeah. And he is a surgeon. He is actually a surgeon. Now, he is going to be joining for free, which is absolutely fantastic, because if he hadn't, I, I have no idea. But let's just take a look at his equipment. He has a club. He actually has a club. I'm going to be taking it. I'm going to steal his club because that's the honorable thing to do, isn't it? He actually has more strength than us as well. But he has four in surgery and not much else. But he's going to become a pretty nice medic in my opinion. And we're going to be running around the various Stormlands villages here and trying to gain a couple of peasants. Because if we don't have any peasants, we are going to be absolutely defenseless. Isn't that going to be pleasant? Okay, come on now. Let's head on over to Amberley as quickly as we can. Oh, oh, there appears to be some looters there as well. I'd like to actually do battle with some looters right now. Let's do it. Yes, come on. We want some extra weapons so that I can actually equip Brynden with something because right now he has absolutely nothing. So he's going to be pointless just like I was in the battle against the initial thief. So... Let's take to the field our first battle with the new Elias Mormont. And of course we have a huge amount of levies. Yes, this is going to be rather amusing. Okay, so what do the looters in Clash of Kings have now? Because I know they had bows and a couple of other things before, probably some throwing weapons and other stuff, but... Wow, they don't actually... Be, whoa, they're not appearing to be doing anything right now. Okay. I was hoping that if I selected some riding skill, I might actually be able to get a horse, but apparently they didn't want to give me a horse either. So, yeah, this appears to be a rather difficult start. So, what I would recommend is if you're going to be playing along with me, or you're going to be starting a new character in A Clash of Kings at some point, do not pick the same options I did, because it makes it <laughs> relatively difficult, I gotta say. Ah, oh, a little bit too difficult for my liking, but yeah, I don't mind a challenge, but... This is a little bit preposterous, starting off with a weapon that you can't even use. Yes, but I guess we're going to try and take out these guys as best we can. We do have an amazing amount of power strike, so I guess that is the reason why we are going to be dealing some good damage now. So at least that's good, because we're now able to take a couple of them prisoner as well. Come on, take them out. I actually like this club quite a bit. It doesn't do that much damage, but against these guys, it is almost invaluable, because of course... We're able to deal so much damage to them so easily. And as a result, we'll have a good amount of prisoners. And I actually like that quite a bit. So, let's see. Am I able to... Actually, come on, knock him unconscious, please. Yes, there we go. Fantastic. Okay, so now we'll be able to head on to a nearby tavern, maybe find a ransom broker, and then we'll be able to get some pretty nice money as well. So, yes, we are able to take ten prisoners... Gotta say, the prisoner management is uh, very lacking. I was hoping that I'd be able to get maybe 10 or maybe even 15 units per one point of prisoner management, but 
No, it is just five. So we're going to have a few difficulties with gaining money to begin with. Because usually I like to rely on prisoner management a little bit, maybe some trade skill, but we do have a new weapon, and that is a hatchet. I'm actually going to be keeping the club, if you can believe that, because the hatchet is its just awful. I mean, really, the speed rating is terrible, the weapon reach is even worse. So we're just going to be giving this club back to Brynden. Yep, there we go. Thank you very much. And we do have a couple of units ready to level up. We have some man-at-arms now, which is very nice to see. And we're going to see what he can equip. We're going to give him that there. Unfortunately, they did not drop a shield. But is there anything else here that can actually be used for him? No. We didn't get a secondary helmet either. So I guess that's a little bit unfortunate, but what can you do? Okay, so let's see. We're going to try and find a couple more looters here. And we're probably going to be enlisting, actually. We're probably going to be enlisting in a, uh, well, in another vassal's army. Ooh, 19 looters. Okay, that might actually be a little bit too difficult for us, but I'm going to try it nevertheless. Are we? Are we going to try it? Yeah, I think we're going to try it nevertheless. We are a fighter, after all. And let's prove that, shall we? Let's prove that to the denizens of Westeros, that they will not mess with level 1 Elias Mormont. Yes, <laughs> he is level 1. Oh, yes, that's for sure. Okay, now, come on, guys. You can't be waiting back there anymore. You have shields. Some of you have shields, at least. I'm going to tell everyone to actually just charge in here because, well, it's basically pointless just to keep, shall we say, bunny-hopping them along because, well, we want them to get into range as quickly as possible, and the best way to do that is just to charge them in, of course. So, let's see how long it's actually going to take us to get there. I actually have no idea why we spawn on the other side of the map, but I suppose the reason for that is if one particular side has an overwhelming amount of cavalry, then it's going to balance things out rather nicely so that, for example, archers, and if you're playing with an archer army, you'll be able to get into a pretty nice position, maybe a nice vantage point. But bear in mind that, again, bows are not particularly good in this mod, unless they've been changed. Maybe they've been changed. I actually have no idea about that, but yeah. When I previously played, they were not particularly good because the ammunition usually only allowed you to use maybe 16 20 arrows maybe a little bit more or less than that but in general they were restricting the amount of ammunition you'd be able to use because of course that would make any archers way too overpowered and well it's balancing reasons i suppose but mostly i just want to hit this guy over the head with my club and hopefully eliminate him come on yes yes Come on now. You cannot block me for long. Evil doer. Yes. Oh no, they both have clubs. They both have clubs. Oh no, this is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Okay, no. Yes. Yes, we've eliminated him. And, ah, okay. So, we did our very best, but unfortunately, in the end... It was not enough. It was not enough. We were against three, do bear that in mind, and I still have not leveled up. What's up with that? We've still not leveled up. I have no idea why, but yeah, there it is. Okay, so we have, I think, attained victory. Not entirely sure if we're going to have extra luck here. Unfortunately, I'm unable to bring up the battle map, so our units will just have to fend for themselves here. Come on, you can eliminate him. He has no shield. There we go. Yes, if I had a shield, it would have been a huge amount easier, but hopefully we will gain a shield from these looters here. If not, then I guess we'll just have to buy one. But yes, there we are. We lost three, but yeah, we eliminated quite a lot more. We were able to take a couple more prisoners, and we can access the item pool for a very nice arming sword, which I will want to use when we get the appropriate strength requirement, of course. Now... Light spears, they seem to have been changed rather considerably here. Light spears are likely to crack, splinter, and break in combat. You should always carry a secondary weapon. So apparently, spears were a little bit too powerful in the previous iterations, and maybe they've been tuned a little bit more now as a result. And we're going to let our companions collect the rest of the items. That's exactly the reason why, one of the reasons why I really do like this mod, because your companions are able to loot things for you. So even if you run out of space, you will still be able to gain a little bit of cash, which I do appreciate. So 
Let's just head into his equipment here. We did actually gain a helm. Oh no, we gained some gloves. Okay, so that's pretty nice. And other than that, I think, hmm, should we give him a spear or not? Probably not. Yeah, probably not. But hopefully we will be leveling up soon. How much XP? Ah, we only need one more or two more kills, and then we'll be next level. But for now, I'm going to be ending this episode off here, and so I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.